No more cars on the drag by the University of Texas. That is just one potential future with light rail. Capital Metro is presenting plans for their orange line, and some proposals have people wondering not only how it could happen, but also about the unintended consequences. KXAN digital reporter Kelsey Thompson has been going over those presentations, and she's joining us live now with more in the newsroom. Yeah, Britt, this afternoon, Project Connect leaders outlined two potential scenarios for changes to come to Guadalupe Street running alongside the University of Texas. While both are preliminary designs, one option would include removing through traffic entirely from the roadway, leaving only the light rail, buses, bicycles, and pedestrian traffic. Students and local business owners attending today raised concerns about how that lack of vehicle traffic could affect nearby businesses and neighborhoods. One student said a lack of car traffic on the drag could lead to an increase on residential roadways nearby, impacting neighborhood safety. But the mayor just made a case for this option. A really exciting opportunity to do some real placemaking uh, in the city. Uh, I really believe that uh, as we take more and more people through that area, it's going to, to be a plus for the, for the retailers in that area. The other option would keep one lane of car traffic along with the light rail and bus lanes, but reduce the size of bike and pedestrian pathways. Officials also fielded questions on key design features and asked about the potential for an underground consideration. Leaders said the designs are still in their early stages and more details will come in 2022. You can see the breakdown for yourself. Just look for my story on KXAN.com. In the newsroom, Kelsey Thompson, back to you. Kelsey, thanks. Keep in mind, Project Connect is an investment that will pay off in the future, we're told. You will not be writing the orange and blue lines until eight or nine years from now. Capital Metro's online guide shows when leaders expect to finish construction. Even long ter longer term, the work on the green line Metro Rail toward Mainer is not going to be done until 13 years from now. The planning and construction is set to take less time than either the orange or the blue line, but right now, the government agency does not plan to start that until the light rail lines are nearly completed. Upgrades to the red line, the current metro rail should only take three years. Those are currently ongoing and include the new station at McCalla Place for Q2 Stadium.